Hi guys, this is Pete in 6QW, and I'm running a few small tests here on my uh, new Simple Siever uh, radio project. And uh, just to uh, give you a brief outline of one of the tests, I have a, a little RF generator back here that's tuned to uh, about 7200, uh, 7.2 megahertz, right in the middle of the 40 meter band. <clears throat> and uh, I've tuned the simple receiver here to 7.201.6 uh, so that we get the uh, we get the tone and if you look at the scope over here the scope pattern is somewhat maximized at that frequency of 71600 and so uh, we wanted to make sure that we uh, got a, enough signal coming in here you can hear in the background the uh, the tone uh, that's coming out because I'm detecting it essentially uh, I'm just loosely coupling the signal out of the generator here into the uh, RF amplifier of the simple receiver. And so we have the RF amplifier, the main IF board. It's got two IF amplifiers, a double balance mixer. We have the uh, bandpass filter ahead of that between the RF amplifier and the IF amplifier board. We have the uh, product detector, BFO here, audio amplifier. This uses a pair of J310s, the RF amplifier, to uh, simulate a dual gate MOSFET. Uh, there's a pair here that's in the first IF amplifier, again, simulating a dual gate MOSFET. Another pair of J310s, second IF amplifier. We got a pair here in the product detector and a single J310 in the BFO. Any 5534 uh, that's a low noise op amp driving an LM380. A lot, lot, lots of gain can come out of this, but uh, right now, hopefully, you're just. Uh, hearing me over the uh, the tone and we are using an Arduino Pro Mini over here driving an AD9850 now three of the stages three of the stages in the simple receiver are gain control and essentially the RF amplifier has a pot in it uh, the first IF amplifier has a pot in it and the second IF amplifier has a pot in it as well and uh, the idea here is that actually the first and second IF amplifiers could be AGC controlled could be AGC controlled and I just want to show you the effect uh, of what the individual gains are uh, typically these three stages are running at about wide open at about 18 dB gain and uh, by adjusting the pot which is adjust the bias on gate 2 uh, this drops the signal level down to uh, about 10 dB per, per stage so we're going from about 30 dB <coughs> across the 3 uh, to 54 dB at the, at the max so let me show you the effect and watch the scope over here. First, I'm going to adjust the RF amplifier and look at that scope pattern. And you can see the, uh, as a matter of fact, let me uh, just turn this a little bit so you can see the scope just a little bit better. Uh, this has quite an effect uh, on the RF amplifier stage on the amount of gain. And you, you can see it there the gain increasing with the RF amp. So that's max gain. So uh, this is the first IF amplifier stage and that was wide open and now you see that reduced. And now uh, this is the second IF amplifier stage and we'll see that one reduced. So there, there is minimum gain setting minimum gain setting for all three stages. RF amplifier, the uh, first IF amplifier and second IF amplifier. So you can see that scope pattern goes almost down to nothing. So now, if I increase the gain on each of the three stages, you'll see what happens to the scope pattern. And that's a pretty dramatic change. At that level right there, we're about uh, 220 millivolts. 220 millivolts. And all I'm doing is uh, measuring the output right, right across the speaker right across the speaker. That's 220 millivolts with the um, with the gain wide open. Uh, with the with the second stage that's down to about 150. With the first stage that takes it down to about uh, 113. And with the RF amplifier off it drops down to 74 which is primarily the background noise. So uh, we went from uh, about 74, the background noise, all the way up to, uh, in the speaker, all the way up to 
about 220, 74 to 220. So that's pretty dramatic. That is pretty dramatic. So there's a lot of gain across this uh, particular radio. And I just wanted to show you this little test. So this is N6QW, showing the, showing the effect of the, uh, the stage gain and how that affects the audio amplifier output. So uh, there's, there's a lot of reserve gain in here, and uh, you, oper the, you operate this thing wide open on really strong signals. Uh, you can tell you have way too much gain. But on the weak ones, of course, it'll amplify it. So if we include an AGC circuit in here, we get the advantage of uh, weak signal detection at the same time of uh, clipping uh, some of those really strong signals. So again, this is Pete, N6QW. I'm just running a few gain tests here oh, on the simple uh, season. Just some listening right tests here. All right, there's, there's a weaker signal. Now just listen when the other station comes back. Yeah, okay. All right, now I know where you're at. That's where AGC, uh, that's where AGC would pick, make a real big difference. So uh, a lot, lot of strong uh, signal handling capability. We just need to add the automatic gain control. This is Pete, N6QW.